Guess how much the tickets are for this particular uh, deal. $5,000. Think We don't know because it doesn't even... <laughs> you have to actually oh, them. That's how bad it is. It says inquire. Uh -huh. No price uh -huh. listed. Are we going to see some changes in Formula One? Because those numbers that Richie put out there about Formula One's interest, and they were gauging it more, more or less on social media content, which, again, is a barometer for Fortune 500 companies, frankly, moving forward. Mm -hmm. The interest of Formula One and the way we're stopping and his team has run away with this damn thing for the last couple of years. Are we going to see a change because of the, the waning interest in Formula One? No, because Formula One, uh, the FIA says that it's not as bad as, you know, what these other reports are saying. Uh, and I think that might be at the core of what people are upset about. I think, and it's just me, and, you know, I'm, I'm like a dog with a bone. I think people were so enraged at what happened in 21 that they're saying, look, if you could just take the championship mm -hmm. away, What's the point? I don't care. Now he's winning all the time. Uh, why should I bother to look at this if, you know, they, they're going to decide who wins? I think that's part of it. I think another part of Formula One's, at least social media ratings going down and social media talk and keywords have gone into the negative realm from the positive realm. I think another part of that also is just they're overpricing themselves out of the American market. And to be honest, same in the English market. There's there's other markets overseas in which it's just plain overpriced for people who really do want to get into the sport. But then they see prices like that and they're like, why? Why? And American fans are like, no, <laughs> it's a joke. If we're going to bring a family of four to one of your events, ah, it's not worth it. Yeah, you, you can you can stack those con concerns on top of each other, and they just when they multiply like that, there are there are many reasons. The you know Las Vegas and that gosh, imagine spending that kind of blow on a race when the championship it's going to be wrapped up. We know that by Las Vegas when the the oh, championship right. was freaking wrapped up before the damn season even started, given the rules or lack of rules and. I'm my age. I'm not the target for Formula One, but my interest in motorsports certainly is. And I've always had my issues with Formula One, given the arrogance and idiocracy that goes on behind the uh, the walls of Formula One. But when Max and Hamilton were running neck and neck for that championship, I uh, frankly 2021. 2021 I have never expressed that much interest. That, and thanks to Drive to Survive, that much interest in Formula One. And and again, um, it's I've, I've not been a fan of Formula One, frankly, since a big fan of Formula One. I, the technology, I get it. My first Formula One race was at Indianapolis many, many years ago, and the technology was just, just blew me away. The fact that these cars were doing what, my eyes were telling me they were doing. My brain was going, there's no way they're going to make that. Yep, they just made that turn <laughs> at that speed. It is Again, stunning. doesn't always translate on a TV broadcast. Mm -hmm. Motorsports of all kinds, you have to be there in person to actually appreciate it and to understand it a little bit better. But, yeah, Formula One, again, it's it's that's part of it as well. And I, I think I brought this up last week or week prior, whenever the hell it was. It's I feel the same way when the Astros won the World Series. How I mean, It was proven. It was proven that they cheated exponentially to win that World Series. It was proven, but it wasn't taken away from them. It was proven that Max Verstappen was given that championship in Formula One. Everybody else around the dude and the team got fired, released. But damn it, I mean, the, the Skip Jack, whatever his name was, for the Formula One got booted. Mosley. Yeah, Mosley. Yeah, but no. It, 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 what it just dawned on me that part of the issue is that to watch a, a uh, you mentioned it crash to watch a uh, formula one, a road course race, you got to pay attention and you have to involve yourself because it's not clear who's the fastest car is the guy in lead the fastest. How much is his lead? He's in front. 
Has he fallen behind? Did he fall behind because of a pit stop on the other side of the track? You've got to pay attention. But if you're watching on an oval, they just drone around, and you could see what's going on all the time without participating in what's happening. And I think Americans are used to just letting it wash over them instead of diving in and paying attention to what's going on. Uh, I think that's a that's a real thing that nobody's talking about that much, but I think that's a real thing. Hmm. I do well, have breaking uh, breaking news related to Formula One, kind of. Got a text earlier in the week from their tech service. F1 Las Vegas, introducing Heritage, an all-new oh. hospitality option available yes. for race fan that sits in the center of the action. With premier views of the Koval straightaway, guests will watch as drivers race to turn five and around the sphere. Now, guess how much the tickets are for this particular uh, deal? I got the same text, so I'm not answering this. $5,000. Here's the thing. We don't know because it doesn't even <laughs> you have to actually oh, That's how bad it is. It says inquire. Uh -huh. No price uh -huh. listed. If you got to ask, okay. you can't afford it. Yeah. So when we were in Vegas for some of our friends' birthdays, the beginning of August, I did. I was kind of going through some of the things that were F1 related and signing up for them. And nothing that ever was sent to me ever gives the price. Everything requires you to submit an email, submit your phone number, submit your email, and then they have to be the ones to contact you. I'm like, I don't want to be any part of that. That's also not fan friendly if we're being completely honest. No, I don't I don't want to talk to anybody on the phone. I don't want this, this diatribe as to why I need to be pushed into buying these tickets. No, no, just tell me what it is. I'll make up my own mind. I can educate myself fairly well. It's yeah, just not fan friendly. I I'll pay two thousand dollars to watch my favorite team play in the college football championship game. Uh, I don't care who they're playing. All right. Uh, I, I, if, if someone says, "Hey, man, you want to go to the college football championship between Notre Dame and freaking Alabama for five hundred bucks?" Yeah, I, I hate both of those teams. But I, those are your two least favorite. Teams. I know, but just but it, my point is this: I don't know who's going to win the damn game. Right. One team's going to be favorite; they're going to play their ass off. But freaking Max Mosley's not going to be there pulling the plug on the lights when quarterback number one's throwing a hail mary to receiver number two. Pull the lights up! Nah, I'm sorry, I tripped over the plug. <laughs> it's like. Sorry, man. It's late, man. I'm just horrible comparisons, man. That's no. That's kind of what happened <sighs> at the final race in Dude, 2021. 2021. We gotta get the hell out of here. Uh, Chelsea's an Alpha. Sorry, we couldn't get to you tonight. I know Statman likes to uh, hear that every uh, Sunday night, right about this time. All right, man. Thank you guys for being a part of this big old thing, Worldwide Technology Raceway. Thank you for allowing us to come in here and invade your conference room and be a part of the madness that was the NHRA Midwest Nationals. It's fan freaking tastic. Wow. All right. Uh, stat man, shoot the juice to the moose and do what? Cut it loose. Oh, please do. Please do.